So what I'm going to show here is which settings in uh, Inventor I prefer to use. I'm showing the default settings right now, which are the grid lines being on, no origin point selected, and then the behavior of the dimensions, which is not to edit when, they, uh, when they're placed. And I'll show you how those work and what I prefer to have. Uh, it's definitely not a dictate on what you should do, just kind of a recommendation and some food for thought. So here you can see on my screen, grids are on. And if I sketch a line, you can see that there's no origin projected. So as I grab a piece of geometry, I can't constrain to it. It just sort of moves over that area. And then when I go to grab my dimensions, they just place on the screen. And I have to do an additional left click to enter the values. So that's not what I want, but that's the default out of the box. So let me go ahead and show you where you can change those. So I'll go to my tool screen. Go to Application Options, and on the Sketch tab, I'll check Edit Dimension When Created, Auto Project Part Origin on Sketch Create, and then turn off those grid and minor lines right there. Now, the grid lines go away. I've got a cleaner screen, a little easier to do. I'm going to bounce that file, bounce that file, open up a new one just to stick the settings. Already, the origin's automatically created, and now I can go ahead and start a rectangle, grab the origin, constrain to it automatically. And when I place dimensions, I get a dialog box automatically that lets me enter a value in there. So just like that, I've entered some cleaner values, things that I like to have and prefer to use. So that's uh, about it right there. And um, happy inventing, everyone.